Ladies and gentlemen, every few years there are shifts that happen in the digital economy that open up doors to completely new opportunities. And spotting these opportunities early and positioning yourself within them before they get overly saturated can set you up for success for the rest of your life. Imagine if you were one of the first people that got in on dropshipping or SMMA or any of these massive trends. Well, I'm honestly not trying to overhype this, but now might be your chance. This year, in 2024, you can learn a skill that will make you hundreds of thousands of dollars and you can take advantage of the technology that made it possible for everyone to take part of one of the most profitable business models out there. This is the same technology that Dividend Finance used to power their business and generate over $384 million in revenue, the technology that YouTubers will secretly be using to build a network beyond seven figures, and the technology technology that my friends at Ambitious Labs are using to take people from zero to making six figures and raising venture capital with no previous technical experience. So in this video, we'll cover what this new trend is, the different approaches to making money with it, no matter your previous background, and a shortcut that you can take to take advantage of this trend as early as possible. So just to establish the magnitude of this trend, let's imagine Chad. Chad is a serial entrepreneur who's just come up with a brand new startup idea. The idea for a startup is to help businesses set up their legal entity for their business as fast as possible. Normally, this process would take about three hours, but Chad found a way to automate it and have it just take 10 minutes. But to ship his idea to his customers, he needs a web app. So after some trial and error of trying to do it himself, Chad decided to hire a team of developers to build his app. A few years have gone by, he's now spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on developers and still didn't have a product that he was happy with. His software is bloated with many features that users didn't ask for. It's costing him about $10,000 a month just to keep the developers on and ship basic features. He can't make any update to his app himself as he's non-technical. And whenever he wants to make an update to his app, it often takes multiple weeks or even months and the features are delayed anyways. So what can Chad do in this case? Should he risk spending more cash to hire new developers or should he spend three years learning how to code to do it all by himself? Well, the story is not imaginary and it is exactly what happened to Chad Sakonchik. And it was part of his journey going from zero to $7 million in revenue that he started better legal. So how did he overcome this developer issue? Well, Chad discovered an awesome thing known as no code. And in just 90 days, he rebuilt his entire app from scratch using a few tools. Mind you, Chad is not a developer, nor did he know how to code. He was able to utilize the power of no code to build his dream app into reality and the rest was history. So this is the exact trend that we're talking about today. It's no code. In the world that we're living in today, every business is going to become a technology business. And no code allows everyone to be a part of that world. No longer is it gatekeep just for developers and technical experts. The industry has been completely democratized. And if you are watching this video, you can take a part of it too. So what exactly is this no code? Well, no code is a new way of building online software where you do it visually with drag and drop tools rather than writing code yourself or hiring expensive developers. And while it's called no code, there is still code involved, but the code itself is packaged in a visual manner. So you don't have to interact with it at all. Let's use Legos to explain this. So all the different tiny Lego bricks represent the code. And what no code tools are, are basically blocks of prearranged Lego bricks that you combine together to get the structure that you want. So instead of sitting there and messing with the tiny bricks, you let the no code tools take care of that. And and you use these pre-built components to build out your idea. Each no-code tool takes a slightly different approach to this, and they all focus on building slightly different types of software. Some tools are designed for building web apps, some are designed for mobile apps, and some are designed just for building databases and automations. But actually, no-code is not exactly a new thing. The first no-code tool has been around since 1985. Anyways, the reason I'm saying it's a new trend is that no-code tools have never been as powerful as they are today. The major no-code platforms have spent the last 10 years grinding away and building very powerful tools that allow you to build legit solutions for digital products, SaaS businesses, internal tools, the list goes on and on. And we also have tools like Zapier and Make that allow you to integrate all these different tools together, automate things, and just in general, build very powerful stuff. There is now this sort of web of no-code tools that work together to basically do anything. 
Okay, so why is no code so game-changing? Well, some of the richest people on this planet may have gotten there through building software. Think of Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, or even some YouTubers like Alex Hormozzi and Alex Becker. The list is endless. They have all utilized a business model referred to as SaaS, which stands for Software as a Service. Rather than, for example, selling a physical product, you are selling software solutions to people and businesses. Think of it this way. If you're running an online store and let's say you sell clothing, you need to worry about production of it, the warehousing, transportation, and so on and on. So the profit margins are pretty thin. And as you're dealing with a physical product, the stock is obviously limited. Once you sell out, that's it. Well, the SaaS, you don't have such worries as you're selling a digital product and you don't have all these physical expenses and limitations. You can build your software once and sell it to thousands and millions of people, making it very high leverage. Now, there are still some expenses to running a software business. You still got payroll, hosting, API costs, etc. But it's not uncommon for SaaS businesses to have profit margins as high as 80 to 90%. But Ecom, for example, profit margins other than 10 to 20%. The only problem is that a few years ago, this business model was only available to those who have experienced coding, have massive bankroll to hire developers, or somebody who has a coder friend who is willing to jump on the idea as a co-founder. But now it's completely different, as NoCode has democratized building software, making it available to everyone. No matter what your background is, you can now learn NoCode tools and then in a few weeks start building out your idea. So okay, we understand that no code is awesome and it's this new digital revolution. How do we make money with it? Well, just to show you the bigger picture. Right now, the no code market is estimated to be valued at $47 billion. The prediction is that it's going to grow to $125 billion by 2027. That is 4x predicted growth in just three years. People are starting to take this space very seriously. So positioning yourself in this early can reap massive rewards long term. So how can you position yourself in this market and make a lot of money? Well, there are a few methods and we'll go through them one by one. We'll start off with the most obvious one and the one that we already touched on in the previous part of the video. And that is to build your own no-code startup. If you're an expert in a specific niche and know a problem that a lot of people run into, you can build your own startup to solve that problem using no-code tools. For example, Jake Singer knew how difficult it can be to monetize newsletters. So he used Bubble, which is a no-code tool, to build Swapstack, which is a platform that allowed newsletter writers to monetize their publications in different ways. This app built a no-code went on to earn Jake $20,000 a month in recurring revenue. And they recently got acquired by Beehive for an undisclosed amount. Halo Cars is another example, which is an advertising platform software that was built with no code and it connected advertisers with Uber and Lyft drivers to show ads on their cars. This allowed the drivers to earn more money and for advertisers to display hyper-targeted ads with time, weather and location options. They used Airtable, Zapier and Retool to build out their idea. Their startup went on to raise $500,000 from angel investors and in just 11 months they got acquired by Lyft themselves. And Lyft, which is a multi-billion dollar organization, was completely shocked when they found out that Halo Cars was operating the entire thing with just 10 employees. They were able to tackle a pretty big problem in the market with absolutely minimum resources. That is the power of no code. And the beauty of this is that you don't need to build a massive startup to earn good money. You just need to find a pain point that's worth solving and it can be hyper niche. That's what's known as a micro SaaS. Instead of going there and trying to build the next Instagram or the next Airbnb, you can build out a specialized software solution targeting a very specific niche market. I will make a video on exactly how you can come up with micro SaaS ideas in the next few weeks. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that one. And if you do have an idea for your own app and you want to venture into the world of entrepreneurship and speed up your journey to success, then the fastest way to do it is to work one-on-one -on -one with an expert. That's exactly why I wanted to share with you my friends from Ambitious Labs. They've already taught over 200 entrepreneurs how to build their own apps without any technical knowledge. And they can help you launch your idea within just a few weeks or a few months, depending on how busy your schedule is. So if you want to launch your own app startup without coding or hiring developers, 
then make sure to click the link in the description. And this video is not sponsored by them. I am, however, their affiliate, so if you do end up working them, I do get a small percentage, and this would go to support the channel. But I wouldn't be sharing this if I didn't believe in what they're doing, as their team is honestly incredible. The apps they've worked with have gained over 3 million users and generated over $100 million in revenue, and they're also an official Flutterfloor ambassador. So if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. But if not, let's go into the second way that you can make money with no code and that is freelancing as well as starting your own dev agency. As more and more people realize that they can now build software fast and cheap, there'll be a lot more demand for people that can help with building different solutions. And there are quite a few categories of experts that will be in demand. Number one will be experts on specific tools like Bubble, Flutterflow, DraftBit, WeWeUp, Webflow. These freelancers would be hired to work on projects that have already been built on specific tools. Number two will be experts in building MVPs. So those will be people who can quickly build a minimum viable product with basic functionality to help entrepreneurs validate their ideas before committing to building out the entire thing. Number three will be full stack no code experts who can build out entire web apps or mobile apps. So this will be freelancers who can build ideas into reality for their clients using tools such as Bubble, WeWeb and the ones I mentioned before. And experts in automations. This will be freelancers that know how to use tools like May.com and Zapier to create automations and integrations between different tools. But lastly, database experts. So this will be people who are specialized in tools like Xano, BuildShip and Superbase that can help people set up, maintain and migrate databases for their projects. So how do you go about becoming an expert in any of these spaces? Well, most of the tools have a free plan where you can start learning for free. So you need to pick a specific area you want to focus on and just start learning. For example, if you want to build mobile apps, you would need to learn a tool like Flutterflow. So I would sign up on the website, choose a free plan and start building some basic apps using the tutorials from YouTube. Once you're proficient enough, you can build a few fake apps just to polish your skills. So that would just be made up apps that you build properly to use on your portfolio. But once you're comfortable with your skills, you can list yourself on some of the no-code job websites where people look to hire no-code experts. I will leave a few links in the description for that, as well as a video where I break down the best no-code tools that you can choose to focus on. But once you build up your reputation and you start getting booked out as a freelancer, you can start outsourcing some of the work and transition into an agency model. And and that's where the big money is made. However, it's not uncommon for no-code freelancers to make $100,000 a year or even more. But there are many no-code agencies that are making over seven figures a year. And quick little hack here as well is that if you have some spare time, I would also make YouTube tutorials on the apps that you learn how to use. As demand for no-code tools grows, there are going to be more and more people trying to learn how to use them. So that means more people will be searching for tutorials on specific things. And that's exactly how you can get a steady stream of new potential clients for your freelance business or agency as each person watching your tutorial could potentially be interested in your building services having a youtube channel documenting your expertise is also a great way to build authority it's great for potential clients to see that you are so good at your skills that you're also teaching others and you can also make some side cash from youtube honestly there's only positives to this long term now, if you're on the artistic side and you know how to design, well, the other opportunity to make money with no code would be building templates. All of the major tools like Bubble, Webflow, DraftBit, Flutterflow, Framer have marketplaces where people can buy and sell templates. Templates allow users to speed up their building and not have to start the entire project from scratch. So they're very popular. Templates can sell anywhere from 30 to $300. And it's not uncommon for some creators to make 10,000 or even more from a single well-made template. Most common templates people create are well-designed landing pages, building frameworks, UI kits, dashboard kits, and clones of popular apps like Airbnb, Facebook. But as more and more people find out about no-code tools over the coming years, there'll be more and more demand for templates, as people don't want to start building from scratch. So if you position yourself early in the marketplace while it's still not overly saturated and get yourself some reviews, this could turn into quite a lucrative hustle. Because as people use your templates and leave you positive reviews, your templates will get pushed to the top of the marketplace, potentially causing snowball growth for you. Now, if you want to learn about the best mobile no-code tools, click this video. And if you want to learn about the best no-code web app builders, then click on this video. I'll see you there.